This video explores the idea of using AI agents in stock markets. I have been researching on this idea for a while and I am planning to do a webinar as well. I'm going to make those announcements in the WhatsApp member community or probably if you are already a member on YouTube there. So please stay tuned to that. Now the idea here is that there are AI agents that can perform a variety of operations. These operations can be performing a certain specific kind of analysis, connecting to external data, finding patterns, all of that in an automated way and pushing information somewhere. You can think of these as workflows. However, these are very smart workflows. What is a workflow? Let's say there are a series of actions A, B, C, D and I want them to happen in the order like once A finishes, then trigger B. When B gives a certain response, go to C, else go to D. And then when D completes, go to E and summarize, something like that. So that's a workflow. What AI agents are doing these days is taking this way high up and you essentially are working with a simple idea that you have a piece of software, which is LLM powered, large language model powered, and whatever else you want it to achieve, be it in form of do analysis, be it in form of you know, doing some calculations, be it in the form of fetching data, operating on data, you have to tell that to it and then you have an agent ready. Now these agents are relatively smart than workflows so they can decide the sequence of steps. And I have been trying to build something like that for a while. Again, as I said, I'm gonna make those announcements in the WhatsApp community. There'll be a webinar around it. Uh, this is not a hook or anything like that. That will be paid, you're free to, you know, there'll be a lot of content on my YouTube channel as well posted around this. But while doing that, I stumbled upon very interesting research paper, which is what I want to talk in this video. So this is when AI meets finance, stock agent, large language models based stock trading in simulated real world environment. Now it is still simulated, I want to make that call, but this is a great amount of work. Lot of very seasoned people in this community have been participating in this paper. So it's a huge paper by the way, I'm not probably I will not be able to cover the entirety of it. People from China, US, UK, all sorts of good places. The I and, and by the way, if you're just interested in the code, you're not interested in listening any further, there's a link to the code here. You should be able to go to this GitHub repo stock agent, read through it, get started. It's, it has a quick starter guide. You can have different LLMs, like you can either use GPT or Gemini, and then you can just run your simulations in this. This, this, this will give you essentially simulations, but let's, let's go back to the paper. The idea here is that the stock markets operates within a very, very complex scenario, within a very complicated ecosystem. The whole idea of buying, selling, and there's large amount of liquidity issues, there's large amount of volatility issues, there's constant fluctuations, there's different dynamics at play, there's emotions at play. Essentially, the environment is an interplay of all of these. In the past, I have touched upon reinforcement learning based attempts to build trading strategies. I have failed them gloriously at it. Primarily, the reason was not being able to create a good trading environment. I have not subscribed it does not mean that it's not doable. Now, uh, the point that this paper is trying to do is the there's a lot of challenges that occur within this trading ecosystem and that everybody is aware of and they're trying to call that out. So that's the introduction. Then as I said, I've taken a little bit of stab at this which is called trading gym and I, I've not been able to set this up for Indian markets at all. Maybe I was wrong, maybe I was right. This is, is a very old piece of code, a very old attempt. Maybe there are advancements in it. Now there are have been areas where reinforcements learning has been used to optimize the investment strategies. But the point that this paper tries to take forward is that take LLM and see, can we do simulations around it? And applying these technologies to fully comprehend the nuanced investor behavior is still an unexplored area and this is essentially an area where I'm trying to I would say spend a little time around these days. Some goals are very tangible some are very intangible so stay around if you want to get continue to you know deep dive in. They want to evaluate or investigate three essential questions. Simulation effectiveness which is are the simulation results about the trading decisions reliable when using LLMs to drive the simulation. So the reliability. The reliability of the LLM itself and simulated trading under external conditions. So basically it also boils down to reliability but now you are factoring in different scenarios, different conditions etc etc and they have some suggestions around the design etc. 
they have used two llms basically which is the gemini pro and uh, gpt 3.5 to to develop this you can probably change those llms i don't think that will make a difference i am very curious to try this out with the new open ai o1 model because that model is supposed to be thinking more deeper so yeah beyond that you will see some familiar libraries which uh, we have talked like zipline is being talked about there's backtrader that they are talking about there's quant connect which is also you know something that people are familiar around which is like online platform trading gym i already talked about so th this is not completely random and talking about some unconnected stuff like a lot of research papers this paper is very very grounded moving forward there's a lot of narrative around large language models based agents what these are We'll, we'll probably go more deeper into the webinar than how does language model work with finance, what is behavioral finance, and then want to go more deeper into the architecture part of it. So what are the different modules they are imagining? There's an investment agent module which understands different constructs. It, it, it understands different constructs within the market. It, right now it says capital liabilities. It has four different personalities which is conservative, aggressive, balance and growth based. What are personalities in LLMs? I've talked about in a video where I was trying to explain how can you use GPT to do analysis on trading view data. Again, this video is possibly going to be longer. And then the agent interaction, like all of these four personalities, how do they talk? Then there's a transaction module. There's a bullet and transaction is just transaction bulletin board module where they are trying to throw the decisions that an agent does. And finally, they are trying to get into the whole assumption business, which is a whole lot of information. This is the simulation flow that I wanted to get to. So they have market initialization, which is the yellow part, the first part. Then they run the day simulation and then they start to get into tomorrow's action estimation, buy and sell decisions. And all of these tips are posted onto the bulletin board, which is a, a you know, let's say any, a play, an activity feed kind of thing. So this is the workflow that they have designed. And then the paper tries to go into checking various things, scenarios, etc. There's financial checks, risk assessment, valuation understanding, calculating the valuation depending on different personas, getting into different bounds, etc. etc. Finally, concluding to some sort of an ideal stock price conclusion and then eventually validating it, making the trading decision, etc. This is the end demonstration. So there is a stock price. There's a financial report, which is, you know, the whole agent business. There's the BBS discussion board, which is the bulletin board. So it's talking about that stock A is liked because of this reason. It has potential because of this reason. It's undervalued, blah, blah, blah. There's a special event coming, which is reduction in reserve requirement ratio, or it could be a, you know, market input, or it could be a, you know, news article, anything like that. And eventually you're converging into buying a stock. So the agent is essentially making the investment decisions. Now, I want to pause this paper here, although it gets into all the evaluation scenarios, the simulation, how to run the simulation, the results of those tests, like how does the different model perform? Like if you see Gemini, GPT, trading rounds, how these different models behave across trading round, simulation effectiveness, etc., etc., profit and loss, all of that, blah, blah. I'll probably hop off to conclusion and then make the key point which I was trying to make. Yeah. So the conclusion isn't very, I would say they have, they have introduced it. They have studied this, which is they have found that there are differences between GPT and Gemini based AI agent, which is to me an LLM. And they do present opportunities for further research in this area. However, my point of view is that instead of getting into the decision making process, which is just bear with me, this part, I think the BBS discussion board is great work in terms of doing analysis. What I'm trying to say is that if you are not an expert at something, let's say you are a technical analyst and you operate and play on technicals, but you're curious about fundamentals and you don't know all of that, right? So you can have an agent do that for you. You are a fundamental analyst and you are looking at businesses, valuations, etc. You can have an analyst which does technical analysis for you. Now, these are very broad terms, by the way, you can go further down and say there can be an AI agent which is only looking at certain dimensions of a stock price and communicating it back to you. For example, an AI agent which is only tracking couple of different moving averages and trying to find patterns in the past data. 
that when does the combination of these moving ag agents i will just just an example the case in point here being that the agents need not be doing huge decisions but you can automate them to a point that they do very focused operation it could be they can be telling you zones based on certain analysis they could be you know identifying correlation across different stock pairs every single day the idea here essentially that's being played is we are used to writing code running it in sequence a b c d all of that gets a degree of intelligence wrapped over by llms so if you have liked this video give me a thumbs up if you have not like this video tell me why what should i have done different please join the whatsapp community completely free do support me by joining the membership there is a small charge to it until next video bye bye